And just before I get in, guys, I just want to show you another thing. Sinkholes are renowned for finding um, fossilised remains of animals, especially in Australia, fossilised Tasmanian tigers. The Tasmanian tiger comes from Tasmania. I think the scientific name is Thysoline. It's a beautiful um, dog-like creature with beautiful stripes going across its back. The last known Tasmanian tiger was around mid-1920s, what they captured, and they actually had it in cap captivity in the Tasmanian Zoo. I'll also give you some nice photos and links to that. But like I say, a spot like this, guys, perfect spot for finding, um, you know, fossilised animals, bones, uh, Aboriginal tools, or signs of Aboriginal camping, ash and all that. And also, like I said before, a really good hiding spot for, you know, coin hoards, you know, treasure, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I won't make the video. I try not to make the video too long. We'll get in here. There might be a part one and part two to this video. So we'll get in here. The big cave in there. The last time I came out here, guys, believe it or not, it actually looks like it's collapsed more. So we'll shine the torch in and we'll get in there and get a bit dusty. Beautiful. This is amazing, guys. This is absolutely amazing. It's huge. It's not deep. You have to crawl in there. I might be able to sit down like this. So, it's going to be good, guys. We'll get in there now. This place is a perfect place for snakes. Oh, hibernate because it's winter now, guys. Oh, it's amazing. Look at that cave just in there. Definitely where Aboriginals were really going. Just imagine the ceremonies they probably had in here. Kids being born and... Oh man, I love this place. Look at that. So you can just see all the footprints in here. But you might be able to find some tiny fossils on this limestone stuff. A sample of this stuff here, I can guarantee you guys, we'll probably find some bones in here. Mainly animal bones, but who knows, might be able to... Yeah, but apparently I was speaking to one of the Noongar Aboriginal people. They reckon that when they used to bury the Noongar Aboriginal people, they'd actually put them in a tree and they'd let native animals, wedge shell eagles, come and pick up the remains and then once the bones were completely skeletized, they'd pick up all the bones and bury them. So they didn't really do proper, you know, full body burials, it was just bone burials. Right there guys, here's the skull.
just where the shire gets all their um, sand and work and uh, for road reconstruction uh, and road resurfacing uh, labourers use it for concrete and all that kind of stuff so basically guys this is what Meteor Island's going to look like in the very very near short term once it gets approved I'm not confident it's going to get disapproved guys so it's going to be an absolute disgrace honestly guys Meteor Island contains hundreds of beautiful if not thousands well, I know for a fact thousands of beautiful Aboriginal relics you know some of them are only small and some of them are grinding stones and look here so all the species are going to be wiped out guys in that island so that island contains beautiful frogs and tadpoles and all different types of flora and fauna right here guys that's all dead tadpoles where the water's dried out so Meteor Island is like surrounded by a huge salt plain guys and all of that salt plain is completely dead but if you dig down like 30 centimetres into Meteor Island you're going to get beautiful fresh water like what would happen here you can just see it coming up here so all the flora and fauna guys it's all going to be completely wiped out all of those animals cannot leave anywhere there's no way they can uh, leave that island due to the surrounding dead salt plains so honestly fellas like I say there's going to be over a thousand different species of flora and fauna completely wiped out and um, killed you know some of the island will be saved but still it's another disgrace guys you know so much rare flora and everything right now some frogs down here. All tiny frogs guys. What's going to be happening soon, guys? Look at that beautiful little, possibly a, a uh, western toadlet there. Hopefully, you can see that. 